because you have the right to touch me. Stop touching me. I'm praying you leave me alone. Stop. Leave me alone. I'm praying in here. No, stop. You're I'm praying that I'm above the law. I'm praying that I'm above the law. No, you're not above the law. You're just pregnant. That's it. You like having unprotected sex. That's the only thing that that means. You're not above. It's your boy Prince. So welcome to the new channel. And today we're going to be reacting to when cops rescue boyfriends from their crazy possessive girlfriends. I know y'all used to see me on the other channel, but we got to keep the other channel on brand. So I made a new channel right here. Prince so reacts too. that way we can react to some more different kind of content. You know, make sure to like that. I mean, hit that like, comment, subscribe. Blah. God damn, bro. I can't even talk today. Make sure to hit that like, comment, and sub. Let's get straight into the video. Get your back braces, man. Look, they fix your posture. Nice and comfy. Link in bio. Let's go. After his furious girlfriend threw him out of the car without his inhaler, she this asthmatic crazy. was saved at the last minute by a police officer. Yeah, I was supposed to be waiting for my wife to come to me up. And I have freaking asthma, I can't breathe. We also have a possessive girlfriend who trapped her boyfriend in the house to make him pay the bills. I told him you're not leaving, and that's when I got the knife and did that, and I told him. There are those two white guys they've just met, and there is also How this. I'm gonna pay the bills. How am I pay the bills if you got me trapped in here? I gotta go make some money. I guess maybe I could just sit there and record a gang of videos. I'm calling the police anyway. My home! No, I will get the supervisor now. I did not invite you in. Don't come Officer, in. Officer, then don't come don't. in my home! But to start, you'll see a disgraceful case where a girl attacked and trapped Wait. her boyfriend, blaming everything on him while portraying she herself as the victim. Upon the arrival of the police, I hate she this type of women, bro, because they look kind of okay. They look kind of good. And I guarantee you she got like 500 horsepower under the um started making under the hood. serious <laughs> accusations, but the police quickly became suspicious of her story. <laughs> yes, stomped several times, punched me in the head several times. Tried to choke me out, threw me again. Liar. So you could do a CT scan, you'll see the loss of the, the air because he chokes me. Right Why do you have no marks? It's happened several times before, but I am sick and tired of it now. Yeah. She attacked me. My car is my phone. You can walk over here. I'll talk over here. Yeah. Um, this is my cell phone. I have no weapons on me. I got you. My car is full with my belongings. I was leaving. She took the dog out of the car, which is registered in my name, and attacked me and bit me. It's around me. Nothing. Nothing more. So what happened today? What started this whole thing? She's convinced that I cheated on her. Those are dogs? I'm taking the big one. That's the only one okay. I'm taking. Okay, so what happened today? You're convinced that you were cheating on her? Yes. And the girl, we called the girl, and the girl specifically said, I did not cheat on you, and she has these delusions as if I did. So I said, okay, Damn. I'll pack my things up, and I will leave. My officer, you can see my car is full with all my belongings. Uh -huh. I was taking my dog, which is registered in my name. Uh -huh. She has the other dog, which is registered in her and her mother's name. Okay. That dog is registered in my name. Okay. So then you're packing yourself up. What happened? No, I'm not that? even packing. My stuff is done being packed. Well, your stuff is packed. This guy did not hit her, bro. 100% he didn't hit her. This is the type of guy where, like, you could accidentally elbow him in the head, and he's like, hey, what happened, man? And you're like, man, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. He's like, yeah, you're, you're fine, dude. He's a calm dude, man. My yeah. stuff is already packed. Like, I'm ready to leave. That's all I was trying to leave. That's it. She lying. That lying ass okay. bitch. I'm trying to leave. So, like, like, I'm trying to get the, like, the details. I, put, I finished packing the stuff in the okay. car. I put the dog in the car. And she runs out, takes the dog out of the back seat, and I go into the house and I grab the leash and she bites my arm. She's like, she grab the leash, she bites your she arm. She bites my okay. arm to let go. Okay. And she grabbed my shirt and she said, and she said, oh, don't reach for your pocket. And I, I was never reaching for it. How am and I where, doing where, Where's the shirt at? The ripped shirt. In the middle. Would you like to see it? There's yeah. nobody else in the house, sir. Again, there's nobody here. And she locked the door. Of course she did. Okay. She ripped bit my you? shirt. And ripped your shirt. Yes. To get to what? Well, what was her purpose for doing all this? Stuff? To have me let go of the dog because I did not. Let she, go. Wanted, she wanted the both dogs. She wants both dogs. She's okay. delusional. The dog has a chip that's registered for me. Yeah, because I registered her. I did just. No, we just like the just figure this out and then go from there. Fuck, man. I'd like to just leave with the dog and call it quits. That's it. That's all. Was, that's what the plan was. As you can see, my car is full. I had no intentions of going back and forth with her. But do you want to press charges against her? No, I literally just want the dog and I want to leave. Press charges! Listen, I know it sounds like some goofy shit. Always press charges against these kind of women so you can get, like, a record of it. You feel me? Like, I've had my own issues. I don't want to talk about it, though. I ain't even going. Let's just I watch it. I don't want anything to do with her. Did you hit her or touch her in any way? To get her off of me, yes. 
Because she literally, even That's as, right. as I'm just pushing her, out. my nails are extremely up. long. Even as I'm pushing her to get off of me, she still ripped my shirt. My how mother was the, on the phone. How bad is it? That's wrong. Why are they blanking out his nipples? Like it's and, and the bite. And the bite. Okay. She already has a dog. I don't want to be arrested for going in the house and going near her. Do you have any proof that you're the one who solely purchased? He's the dog a little sugary you? though. I ain't yes. front. Where yes. Where is it? It's in the house. Both parties have accused the other of physical assault, which complicates the officer's subsequent huh. actions. It's crucial that officers gather as much detail as I possible. I think in most identifying cases, in most cases, I'm not sure, but in, in some states, if it's an issue like this, usually both parties will go to jail. Usually, in most cases. But in other states, usually just the dude goes to jail every time. The primary aggressor is key in domestic violence cases. The aggressor in this case might face multiple charges related to domestic violence, so the police will now thoroughly question the girlfriend who claims her boyfriend brutally attacked her. However, unlike him, she does not have any visible injuries. Exactly. So what, so what happened today? I'm just trying okay. to figure out. Let's see what she says, a lying ass bitch. The other night, he went out uh -huh. with a friend of mine. Uh -huh. I've been with him for almost two years. We went to downtown. We got lit. Me and him got a little too drunk. Uh -huh. So then they drove me home. They drove me home. And then both of them left. And I went to the street right next to Ali Osceola High School. Uh -huh. And they had sex. They cheated on me with my best friend. It's okay. <laughs> Fuck! Hey, if he did that, though. The past several nights. If he did that, he's a gangster, though. He's a gangster. Let's watch the video. Let's watch the video. He has been physically assaulting me. Just last night, we were up until 7 in the morning. He walked me in the bathroom. Same thing. Strangling me. Spitting my face. Punching me in the head. Punching me in my back. My thigh. With his knee knee. Like, I'm bruised basically. They're both Where? my dogs. Certainly is my thing saying, I don't want to have a car for that. It's just uh -huh. at my mom's apartment. Because uh -huh. he's trying to get that and throw it out. Uh -huh. And I have proof that I bought both of them. Like, okay, so you start packing his stuff up in his car. Yes, 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 yes. What happened? He went in the room. He said, you're not saying bye to me? I said, okay, I'm taking the store. Literally. Takes her, takes her. I go to the car. I'm like, you're not taking her. I'm sorry. I open the door. That's when he says, I'm going to kill you. Grabs me by my hair. Throws me to the ground. Starts punching me in the head. I'm covering my face. Punching me. Or just stomping me, stomp me out my whole body. Punching me again and again and again. Then I get up. Uh -huh. I lock the door so again. She's lying! I lock the door and I'm like that. Grab me like this. So yeah, I hit him so I was losing air. Uh -huh. It's not the first time he strangled me. Yeah, not the first time. Okay. I bit him. She's a lying motherfucker, bruh. I'm sorry. This video going to get age restricted. I don't give a fuck. She's lying. If somebody got you on the ground and they punching you, any dude punching you. It doesn't even matter. He could be a 120 pound dude punching you. You're going to have marks on your face. Uh, if a woman punching you, you're going to have marks on your face. If you're being strangled, you're going to have marks on your face. Being dragged, you're going to have some sort of rash or something. She's lying, bro. Show something. She looked perfectly fine. She probably do got like a thousand horsepower, though. I ain't even going. Hey, let's I watch this. Let go. Grabs me again. Throws me literally right next to Crazy. Crazy. Throws me again. Starts punching me. Says he's going to kill me. Pummeling me, pummeling, pummeling me. So I grab a hold of his shirt. And yes, I ripped it. That's the only way he would let me go. We need to make sure that so you, I, right so you ripped his shirt and he just is like, oh, I'm done whooping you now because you ripped my shirt. Come on, bro. Lying ass bitch. If they got two legs in a hole and breeds, it's lying. I don't know. This is from last night. I don't know. That's all Hold on, sorry. Hold on. 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 Hold
The girlfriend has made serious accusations, but given the nature of these claims, she would have visible injuries, Come yet she on. cannot even Re describe where she is hurt. Now both groups of police officers will discuss among themselves and quickly conclude that the girlfriend who tried to evade charges with lies and acting is actually the main aggressor. 100%. Has the property in here so we can't keep it from the house? Mm -hmm. She's going to the hospital? We're not getting in the middle of whatever civil issues are. But what charges do we have on either, if any? She's saying a lot. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. At this point in time, it seems like she's primary. It does. That's just me. But thing is- Thank you! Thank you! Police department! Thank you! She's saying she got stomped out, bro. <laughs> this bitch is so dumb. If you get stomped out, you're not gonna look like that. Your glasses aren't broken. Your shirt's not ripped. You don't have rashes. You don't got bruises. You don't got nothing. But you got stomped out. You're a lying ass bitch. Dad. He was taking the dog and he was packing his dog up to leave. Okay. She knew she, that's her dog. That's her dog. So okay. She opened the she opened the, the door and took him. Took the dog. Took the dog back inside. Okay. He went to get the dog. He went for the leash. Mm -hmm. She bit him. Her hair is not even fucked up. And so he was pushing her away, like get away, get away, get away. Mm -hmm. And she just grabbed onto the shirt and like ripped the shirt. Okay. And when that happened, he ended up pushing her hard. And she fell in the living room. Okay. Well, self defense. <laughs> yeah. When that happened, she basically blocked his, blocked him inside. Called the police. Said, "I'm well, you're going to jail." I've had that happen. I've never put my hands on a woman, but I've had that happen to where, yeah, I'm not going to talk about my stuff on here. Oh, she, <laughs> she <Is that> false <laughs> imprisonment. Yeah. Okay. It was just false. What's dude. going on? We were just having normal conversations, and then I guess she just freaked out. And she went and tried to like, grab my phone in my pocket, and I went to grab it back, and ended up biting the f*** out of my thumb. I mean, I'm fine. That's... I ain't doing anything. I just would like her and all of her stuff out because that's possible. What is going on tonight? He was my boyfriend and then he wasn't, but he was like practically playing me the entire time and it okay. just turned into a whole mess that was really unnecessary. Playing you is not a crime. All right? Playing you is not a crime. It's not. They'll make it a crime soon enough in the future. They love women so much. They give you everything you ask for. They'll make it a crime soon enough in the future. But for now... Playing you is not a crime. You can't just go around biting people who play you. All right. Okay. So, yeah. And then we have both been drinking the night. Okay. So, do you live here with him? Yeah. Him and I had a mutual agreement that I give up my lease on my apartment that I had and stuff like that. Okay. Does she live here with you? Yes and no. Like, she does live here. Like, her stuff is here, but I'm the only one on the lease. Okay. How long has she been staying there? I guess since I moved in. Which is when? About three weeks ago. Okay. Um, Get it up by the way. Real quick. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I mean, it's just a bite mark here. But I mean. Have you, how long have you been living here then? It was really fast. <laughs> I've probably been here like a month, a month and a week or something like that. Okay, do you have another place to go for the night? So that we don't, we're not coming out here and arresting probably everybody? Probably not, but you won't have to arrest anybody because I'm just going to pack my things and then go to bed. You won't have anything. Okay, can you take a step back from me, please? Yeah, I'm Thanks. sorry. She's ready to attack the cop, too. I'm to talk to someone else because she's my ex, and me talking to someone else, she flipped out. How would you want to live together with somebody you have been dating for a week? I don't know. I guess it's kind of my own problem. I don't like being alone. <laughs> Okay. My I ain't gonna lie, that happens, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that happens, bro. That happens. You meet a shorty, it be the randomest shit. You just go to like a subway on some chill shit. You talk to the shorty, she seem cool. She making you a little sub. You going through some shit, like she make you a little sub. You eat the sub. You tell her like what's happening, like you make these kind of subs at the crib too. She like, well, I don't have a house. I'm fucking homeless or some shit. You're like, oh, you're homeless working at subway. It pull up to the crib later. She pulls up. Next thing you know, that bitch lives with you for six months. All right, let's get back to the video. I, I don't want to. Been here all day. I, I'm sorry to keep interrupting this video. I know y'all watching the five of y'all that are watching. Listen, I'm not gonna get into my stories about my life on this channel. Fighting, like what's? He just likes to talk to other Maybe people. Maybe a little bit. My back and stuff like that, and 
I probably just overreacted. He was on the phone with some coworker that he lied to me about whenever we were broken up, and then like I was. It's just a huge mess because he just likes to talk to females behind my back and stuff like that, and I take that stuff to heart. Sure, like I, I, I don't. I don't feel sorry for you, but you <laughs> he can't wasn't attack my people. At the time. Okay, I guess you're here. I think alcohol is probably an issue too today? <laughs> no, I can handle my alcohol. Okay, but we wouldn't be having this issue if we wouldn't be having alcohol tonight? No, there would still potentially be an issue with everything if okay, so I hadn't had been drinking. Okay, so what exactly happened? Like, why are we out here? Why did he call us? Probably because I got upset with him and stuff. Okay, you take nah. the phone from him, the phone yeah. was on the ground. He was okay. attacking kinda, shit. He put it in his pocket for a minute, and I just kind of grabbed it and pushed the in call button. Okay, where's the phone at now? I don't know. Okay, you give it back to him? Probably with him. Given that Marissa has been living in the boyfriend's apartment for a month, and they have a relationship, this situation qualifies as a domestic violence incident. How long she has been living at the apartment, and whether she has belongings there is important because this information is crucial for determining her rights regarding eviction or voluntary departure. During the questioning, Marissa left out the fact that she bit her boyfriend, but the bite mark is sufficient evidence for the police to detain the angry girlfriend for possible battery. Hey, Marissa. Right I'm not going to lie, though. I went. Don't run. No, 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 no. Don't run. I wouldn't send her to jail for that bite, though. I would just tell her, like, look, you see this bite mark? You better go out of my house or I'm sending you to jail. Like, straight up. Run for me. No, 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 You don't understand. There's no way you will get me out. No, you don't, no, 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 no. See, this is exactly, like, what I was saying earlier. Usually, these type of girls have no one. So, like, you're the everything type shit. So, like, that should be a problem when you're trying to, like, Step away. That should be a problem. Problem. Stop! Don't scratch. Now me. we're seeing the Relax. real you. I'm not scratching you. My hand. John Michael, please. My brother, please. I got. It. I got. It. Now we're seeing the real you. John, please. What did I do? To you bit him. What? You bit him. I didn't bite him. There's a bite mark on his hand. There's a bite mark on my arm. You're also under arrest for resist because you took off from me. I know not trying to take off from you. I was just trying. Yeah, you ran away from me. Let's go. Jack, please. Jack, yeah, please, yeah. Please. She has an accountability oh problem. Five, six, eight, three. Jack! You can walk or we can carry you. you. I don't know his number. Will you please just call my brother? Will you please grab my phone and call my brother? Come on. Please. Walk. You'll be alright, you'll get out. P.I. Bond, you'll be out. This jump probably got a thousand horsepower, no bullshit. Now you're under arrest for battery. You're not gonna do right. No, I'm not trying to not die. Not appropriate. I just saw you kick her. You just made this a whole lot worse. I wasn't trying to. Did she kick the car? You kicked her, you resisted. I wasn't trying to, I just need to call my brother, please. I ain't see it. Did she kick the car? You just made this a whole lot worse. Do not. Oh, she did. She did. Now you're under arrest for You just made it so no, much worse. I, I just saw you kick her. Mom. You just made it a whole lot worse. For I yourself. wasn't trying to. Oh, well, you did. You kicked her. You resisted. I wasn't trying to. I just did it on my brother. Hey, if you think of what I'm thinking, man, drop a light bulb in the comments. <laughs> you ready to sit up? So we oh, can no, sit you no, in a car? No, no, no. Or you want to sit, sit out here in the I'm going to tell you right now, look, when you see these kind of tattoos like this on the leg and shit, these kind of tattoos like this, run away from it. Run away. Any any tattoos, really, but like mostly on the legs and shit, run the fuck away from it. Where everybody can see you. Thank you. Please. You're not getting out please, of this. Please, can I talk to no. him at least? Please, please. Clear. I have a right. I know I have a right. A victim of domestic violence. He's no, not a victim of you domestic violence. You do not have a right violence. to talk to him. He is because you bit him. Yeah. I didn't bite him. He has a bite mark on yeah, his Yeah, now, now you're letting the real you I mean, out. I'm cuffed. I can't do anything. I'm no. sitting here. You we're can. No, we're not going to. Just for your information, once domestic violence is reported and evidence is established, the decision to prosecute does not rest with the victim. This is often referred to as a no-drop policy, where even if the victim does not wish to pursue the case, the aggressor will still be charged. So are you going to get in my car? No. Why no, not? I didn't know that. Because 
I need my phone. I need to call my brother first. You don't need anything. I do. I'm not going to throw you. Car. They're going to throw you in a car. Well, then. Either that or we can put you in a van and a wrap where you yeah. really can't move. I just want to talk to him. No, you're not talking to him. We're past Chad, him. will you please come over here? Stay over there. Don't come over here. I will be gone. <laughs> I beg of you, please do not do this to me. He's not doing anything. We are. He's doing everything. He has no say in it. Yeah. He does. He has no say. No, he does yes, not. he does. No, I know he does, he does. Okay. You obviously don't know the law. I do know the law. Okay. So yeah, we're there we go. Now we're seeing the real you. You're a fucking raging bitch. You're a raging bitch. Bite him. Well, you'll have your day in court to argue that. Where's his mark? I want to see it's his mark. His You'll see it in court. It's not on his thumb because I didn't bite him. Okay. They're going to toss you in there. I didn't bite you. 25, can you start a rap? Chad! I didn't bite him, though. That's the thing. I really didn't. Yeah, now we're seeing that. Where I need to be? It's real now. It gets real. I know that, but like, when you get released. I don't have my phone, though. I need my phone. Can okay. you please go so, get my phone so I have my brother at least? Can please you get in the car. Least? Scoot in the car so I I'm not holding you up. I will get in the car, but can you please get my phone from him? I'll work so on getting your phone. But you at least call my car. brother in the morning so I can get my stuff. We'll get your phone. You got to help us out, too. Sorry. Be quiet. You made it exponentially worse by one running from me when I, I told you under arrest. You. Stop. You ran from me. End of story. It's on camera to. after I told you you're under arrest. The then you kicked me. All right. That's two hey, them charges. female police officers do not play. They do not play. I was just trying to go back to get my phone so I could call my brother. That's all. The alcohol does not help anything because well, you're 20 years old. Well, that's his fault. Nope, you're the one drinking it. He's the one who bought it. Okay, doesn't matter. People buy alcohol all the time. Doesn't mean well, I'm going to drink it. Well, I know it matters because if he was caught with me while buying it, he'd get arrested for it. Okay, well, you're the one that's drinking it. Look so at you. You're, you're just a fucking well. nut job. It's all under his name. You're the one ingesting it. Please put your feet in. Yes, ma'am. Please put your feet in. I'm not done talking. Okay. Right now, I'm done talking to you. I'm not. I need my phone, and then I will be done. Okay. You're a nut job. Please put your knees back in the car. Marissa was charged with domestic battery, battery on a law enforcement officer, and resisting arrest. You Uh, just went from a raging bitch at your house to a felon. Think but about that. We're good. I'm getting my kids ready for school. They're going to be late, so I got to get them ready first. Well, what was going on, though? Nothing's like, going on. I'm getting my kids ready for school. Well, somebody called 911 here, and there was yelling and screaming. Um, We're getting our kids ready for school. They're, we're literally getting ready for okay. school. They're going to be late, and I'm I'm in underwear, so... Right, and we're investigating a crime. So There's who are crime you? crime here. Who are you? Um, you need to stop. I'm Step getting, out of the house. Stop. Step out of the house. Stop touching right me. Now. My kids are right here. I'm not doing anything. Step out of the house. Now. Step, out the, step out the house. Now. Maria. Step out of the house, Maria. Stop touching me. Look how I'm pregnant. Why is he touching me? Stop touching me. We are investigating a domestic There's violence call. You know what I've noticed? Every time they go to arrest a woman, they're pregnant. Talk What's to the us correlation? Who else is in the house? Just me and the kids and my husband. Leave me alone. Yeah. Stop touching me. Here's the situation. Look what he's You're doing to me. Cooperating. I You're told you. You're hiding behind the wall. We can't see your I hit my underwear. Okay. So then you can Turn around. Put your hands behind your No. Back. Stop. Leave me alone. I'm pregnant. Why are you touching me? Look what he's doing to me. Why are you okay, yelling? Okay. Stop. Be aggressive and touching me. Okay. We will. What's going on? Come here. No! Okay. These are my Step kids! Step outside. Okay, Come here. That's fine, but these are my kids! They're my kids! This is my house! You're not cooperating. We Why are you yelling? That's fine, violence. and there's nothing Who wrong! Who else is in the house? All over your face. No, no, I don't! Leave me alone! You and your ninos? Yes, you do. Yes, these are my, this is my family! Leave me alone! Stop! Stop, stop. touching me! Stop! Okay, well, stop touching me! Sorry, stop! Down. My kids are right there! Leave Calm me alone! Calm down! Calm down! I'm gonna sue you! Calm That's down! That's what I'm gonna do! I'll taser her, bro! Okay, Fuck I that! I'll touch you! You leave me alone! Just stop touching me! I'll just hit her with the. Me. Man, shut the. That's fine! Dumb bitch! Okay, so, so stop touching me! Obviously, there's Look something. Look at my kids are watching! Please stop! Because you were doing something in the house! No, I wasn't! I was getting my kids ready for school! I so just what's told going you. on? Oh, you wanna yell at the top of your you. fucking lungs, bitch! Taser the fuck! You're dropping, you dumb bitch! On the phone claimed that a husband and wife were fighting loudly in Spanish. 
when police receive a report of domestic violence, they have a duty to investigate to ensure the safety of all parties involved. In such cases, when police have a reasonable belief that someone inside is in imminent danger, officers do not need a warrant to enter a residence, but immediately pulling someone out of their home, especially when they are not fully clothed, raises issues of personal dignity and privacy. But we still don't know anything particular yet, so let's move on. Step, step out. No! Stop out. touching me! I'm not even in clothes! Step out here, just follow right. directions, that's it. This is a private property! Why are you guys in my house? Somebody called 911 from here. There was a discussion over Why are you some yelling? Papers. Give me this, give me that. So what is going on? You have a scratch on your this face. This is not from today though, sir. We it's literally just from... got a call. Yes, I understand you guys got a call, but this is not from who today called? though. I'm not sure who. It's early in the morning, I just woke up. I don't know who called. I'm not watching my neighbor, sir. I don't know. While the woman was giving her statement, her husband was talking to another police officer. He revealed that he was a victim of domestic violence and that his wife had beaten him that morning before the police arrived. <laughs> oh, she shit. also slashed the tires and windows of his vehicle with a knife when he said he was leaving. Uh, why you gotta he took a that? knife to this window trying to crack it to force him to give you the papers. Do you see what I see here? Yes, but after he scratched me. No, you don't know what happened here. You don't so, understand. So tell us. So tell us. I'm, I'm That's what I'm telling you. Yeah, so tell me. Yeah, you're just seeing what he said. Right. We woke up and I, I told him since yesterday. I was going to let him use her. But he, he doesn't put a ride for her. So I told him this morning, I need my papers before you leave. Because I'm going to file taxes. And he refused. And he was getting me and shaking me. And so I had to get him down to the couch. Because that was the only way to get out from him. And I'm scratching. I told him, if you don't stop, I'm going to call the cops. Okay, and no then we came to... outside and he was trying to leave. And I told him, you're not leaving. And that's when I got the knife and did that. And I told him. He's saying that you do this constantly. You take advantage of him because he's illegal. He doesn't have standing in this oh, country. Oh, shit. That's he crazy. He's the one that dialed 911. I just confirmed. He dialed 911. He's fed up with the situation. He said he provides. He pays rent here. He not provides the for time. the girl. He provides even for the kid that's not his. She takes all his cash. He has no standing. Yeah, can't pay checks. Right can't pay any of that. That's a lie. Has no proof. Has him con He's fed up with it. He's fed up with the he situation. He does not pay everything. He's always You're abusive. Abusive. I said her abusive. English is better and feels that he's the one that would no, be arrested. Not, can you let her talk? Shut up. So he goes inside, argues. She says no, no, no. Continues to argue. <clears throat> goes from zero to a hundred about these papers <clears throat> so he's like look it's my girl i provide for her i pay your rent here just let me go it's, Not all the it's, time. it's my money so i'm gonna arrest you for yeah domestic violence, criminal yeah and let, let that man get his u visa um, I'll make it as quick as i can so you can get back mm -hmm. here Okay, but I don't think that's fair though. It doesn't matter what you think is fair or yeah, not. Yeah, but he the started of, first though. I understand. Like I understand, but the state of Arizona says if we have probable cause to believe a crime occurred, that he's not eligible to be with the kid by himself. Okay, so who is? I'm not. I don't have anybody. Okay, then we're gonna have to take them to DCS custody. That, that's that's our own. Yeah, option. look at you trying Why to use the kid as a weapon. If if. Ah! Why can't he go? Look, you want to use the kids as a shield. You can't use the kids as a shield, you bitch. You damaged his truck for no reason. There's there no reason for you to go out there and start damaging his, his window. I think he should go because if it was, it was he the one who started it. You are going to go. Yeah, if you started. Yeah, you, of course, you're you think that. Yourself, if he's defending, I, I don't know. Right, right. But what I do know is there, you had no reason. <laughs> To go out there and stab his windows and stuff because tire. you wanted, or his tire, because you wanted wanted the paperwork from him. You, you know what I'm saying? According to the victim's statement, he is illegally residing in the USA. His partner exploited this by taking his papers and blackmailing him to stay with her and work illegally to support her family. He tried to escape from her several times, but she did not allow him to leave and what would even resort to physical violence. Shit. On that day, she even took a knife forcing him to call the cops. She will now be arrested, and upon arriving at the jail, her true nature quickly becomes evident. Huh? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Now we're getting ready to see who you truly is, bitch. It's not an option. I'm not doing a photo. You have to. I'm not. I'm not, no, I don't want my picture on there. Stop touching me! I was charging you with a felony for assisting! Stop! I'm not doing Stand this up. thing! Leave me alone! No! Take a picture. Leave me alone! Stop! 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 Stop!
Leave me alone. You don't have the right to touch me. Stop touching me. I'm praying to leave me alone. Stop. I'm pregnant. I'm above the law. I'm pregnant. I'm above the law. No, you're not above the law. You're just pregnant. That's it. You like having unprotected sex. That's the only thing that that means. You're not above the law. You don't have the right to touch me. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Arrest. That doesn't give you the right to touch me. Look at the and pinch me. You're in crazy. custody. How rude of you. Don't pull away from me. Okay, well, stop touching me. From no, from me. me. No, I'm not. Look at the camera and get Leave your picture taken. Why are you touching me and bruising me? Samantha. What the hell is wrong with you? Get your picture taken. No, I'm not. I don't have to. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Get her picture taken. Right there. Right there. Right there. Bro. Stop doing that to me. No, you don't have the right to be Stop. touching me. Stop. You're hurting me, Jules. What the you're in custody. When you're in custody, you're technically like state property, right? So you te they technically have the right to do whatever they want to you. I've actually heard of, from friends of mine that have been in prison. Like if you're in custody and you get tattooed and shit, you, you get charged with damage in state property. Leave me alone! I'm gonna sue you because you're touching me and hurting me! I'm gonna I'm sue you! you. I'm gonna tell a judge when I go to the judge! No, I'm not! Leave me alone! This is not okay! Oh my god, this is a nightmare! Sir, since you've been to the house, you've been touching me and hurting me! Leave me alone! What the hell's wrong Don't with you? Don't pull away from me! Look what you're doing Don't to me! Leave me alone! Don't pull away from me! Charger! Leave me alone! Charger, we're resistant! Please! I'm not doing anything. You're, not, you're hurting me. You're I'm going to sue you. That's what okay. I'm going to do. Okay. I'll sit in there. I'll make sure I sue you before I leave. Okay. Okay. That's funny. Samantha was charged what with disorderly nightmare, conduct and criminal damage. I feel so bad damage. for homie, dog. So, man. Hey, I feel bad for the illegal homie. I do, man. Damn, bro. She, he dealt with this every night? He dealt with this every night? Fuck, bro. Damn, I would have been like, man, f deport me, man. Fuck that. Deport me. I don't give a fuck, bro. What's up? Not much. Um, some people had called and they said that they saw you walk and they were just concerned that you were going to get his. Everything all right? Yeah. I was supposed to be waiting for my wife to come pick 26. me up. And I have freaking asthma. I can't breathe. And she lives down by that store. So I had to walk. I'll be out with that mail just north of 9562. 9562. At the, at the store. She lives down there. Uh, what's your wife's name? Uh, Jesse Stevens. Okay. I know where she lives. Um, do you want me to give you a ride, Please. or do you need a squad? If you're at, like, if feelings. you do, I'll, if you want, just put your butt right here. That way you can sit down and kind of tripod a little bit and catch your breath. Where are you coming from? Oh, I'm sorry. You're good. Where are you coming Damn, from? Damn, poor dude, man. Me and her got into an argument. Okay. And no one hit each other or nothing like that. We just got, we just got into an argument. And she said she's going to come and get me. Do you want me to call you a squad? To come check you out? I don't, I don't need no ambulance. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, like I'm it, fine. She has they... my inhalers. I can breathe. It's just, it's hot. I don't know why. I keep trying to tell her to bring her here and someone freaking listen. Do you mind if you give me a ride there? That's fine. You sure you don't want a squad? I'm sure. Okay. Man, this is a little trippy, dog. I don't know. I'd have been feeling the type of way. Dude ain't breathing well. Are you all right? Yeah. She is. She's just extremely drunk. This is Jessie, the girlfriend of the young man whom the police officer helped in distress. The officer found her getting into a vehicle, but immediately noticed that she was not fit to drive. The primary goal here was to help the young man who was struggling to breathe, and that's exactly what To Protect and Serve stands for. Now they need to determine the background of everything, whether there was domestic violence, whether Jessie intentionally left her boyfriend on the road, what happened before the argument, and so on. Um, so I have... Marcel in my car. Somebody called in. They were afraid he was walking down 638. They were afraid he was going to get hit. Yeah, I couldn't get this thing to start. I was trying to come and get him. Okay. Why couldn't you get it to start? I don't know. It's a piece of crap. Is he allowed to be here? Yeah. Okay. 
You're good, man. Bro, okay. what is going on? I offered to get him a squad. He said he thinks he's having an asthma attack. Oh, do you need the inhaler? He needs an healer. Marcel, why don't you let me call? Damn, that seems awful. Jesse, have you had anything to drink today? No. Have you been doing any drugs or anything like that? No, I can tell you she hasn't. We just got into an argument. No. Okay. Because ever since you stepped out of the car, you've been stumbling. We've you're been you're slurring your words. Arguing, so. Oh, no. I'm not on anything. No. No. She can't even talk. Up. Okay. I was trying she can't even talk. I ain't saying anything. She can't even talk. She's drunk as a bitch. I think this is star. Well, do you need me to get a squad for you? Because I'm a little concerned for your health. Just give me my halo. I did. I gave it to you. I have to look. I have to look in here and double check that the keys are not. Okay, but can you can you, can I call my mom? Give me your phone, please. Okay. Do me a favor. Yeah. I'm gonna offer you to do some field sobriety tests. Okay. Okay. Do you want to participate in them? Well, for sure. what though? Okay. She's not going. Jesse no will way. now fail the field sobriety tests and will be arrested for operating while intoxicated. Additionally, the officer noticed a white substance under her nose. It's worth noting that stimulants like cocaine and amphetamines can cause rapid breathing, increase physical activity and stress, which can trigger attacks in severe asthmatics. I'm not accusing anyone, just saying. The situation is obviously more complicated than it seems, and it's further complicated by the fact that Jesse's father does not want Marcel on his property. Fuck, okay. she's drunk as fuck. So, Put Jesse, your hands what I'm going to do back. is I'm going to I'm going to place you under arrest, okay? Cuz right now I believe that you're impaired and yeah, you're you were behind the wheel of a motor vehicle getting ready to go get him. Okay? But I mean, I don't know. It's kind of tricky. She's at her house. Well, but I believe that you are. Um So here here's the deal. She's going to go to the jail. Um I'm going to figure up what I'm all charging her with. Right now it's going to be um, physical control of a motor vehicle. It's similar to an OVI. Um, it's not the same, but it's the same what the kind fuck? of charge. Okay. Make sure to get your posture, um, man. Get your do posture you know right. if she does drugs or has I she ever done drugs around you? I've never... No. Okay. Well, right now that's what's going to happen. What do you need to say? I just need to know what I need to do, man. Her dad's gone. Okay. Jesse, is he allowed to be here? I think that's what he's curious. Is he supposed to be here? Does your dad know he's here? Well, yes and no. Well, She's I so kinda, fucked up. Is there anywhere I can call my dad? Yeah, I mean, I can facilitate that. Hi, Mike. This is Logan from the sheriff's office. How are you? They stayed up all night arguing. Okay, when they, that's, what, that's what he said. Um, she is extremely tired, I know. She wanted to call you, um, and Marcel's here wondering like what he's what he's supposed to do, and I know she's that supposed to get off my property. Okay, because I I've been out here before with one of her ex boyfriends, and I think you remember me yeah. from that. Uh, oh, so I didn't know this was constant. a similar situation where she's you know, if he's not supposed to be here. You know, we need to facilitate him leaving. Yep. Okay. No, I don't want him at my place at all. Well, she's got uh, some she's got some white powder residue in her nose too. So. Oh gosh. Um, I just, like I said, I wanted to touch base Awful, with you bro. since you're the homeowner. And I, I Imagine, dog, some, you get a phone here. call, and it's like your, your girl, your daughter, your baby girl getting arrested with white powder in her nose. Multiple times she's having problems with her ex-boyfriends, boyfriends living there, leaving. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't want no daughters, bro. Before with, with her guests. So Yeah, because he, he, this, this guy is saying that I'm impaired. I'm not impaired, obviously. I don't drink. I don't do none of that. I don't know. Well, I told the sheriff I did not want him at my house, period. Mike, the, I don't, what was your name? Robin. Here? Robin said that she's going to lock the house up or she'll make sure that it's locked if you're okay with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. And my, okay. like. So, 
Marcel, here's the here's the deal. Mike says he doesn't want you here. Okay. Um, I don't know where you're gonna go. I can call for somebody. Where you can go. Okay. I, I'll um, call for my brother to come pick me up. Jesse. Um, Jesse, listen to me, man. For real. Look at me. Yeah. I'm sorry this happened, bro. It's ridiculous. We should not be fighting like this at four in the morning, man. We gotta stop this. Shit. I didn't mean for this. Happen, crazy, man. What the hell? Hey, Mike. Yeah, uh, that Marcel guy, he's on parole, and uh, bottom line, I don't want him at my house. He's on parole, but he doesn't remember his parole officer's number because he went to prison for uh, sex offender registry violation. Ah. Uh, Jesse, are you on paper? No. You're not? Okay. Didn't you just get out of prison? Now I don't you fuck with him. Take his bitch ass to jail. Months ago. You just did all your time? Yep. Okay. Oh man, this is fell in love. It all ended you with ever Marcel heard of having to leave the property, but the father love. didn't request a trespass warning. Jesse was arrested for physical control of a motor vehicle, which is similar to operating while intoxicated. Send that pussy bitch to jail. Send his bitch ass boyfriend. Send the boyfriend to jail too. That fucking. I ain't gonna say. I can't say it on YouTube. Y'all know what I'm talking about the P word. Leave my house. No. Thank you. Leave. You want it to be gone. Leave. So we're not going to close the door. I'm not. Yes, I am. This is my home. I didn't open it for you. He did. I am not opening this door to you. What's the relationship? We're exes. Just lost his child. Yeah. Friends. Friends, don't. Please get out of my house. I did not invite you in. I had, you do not have. I'm here for a domestic disturbance. No, but you do not have a right to enter my home unless I've invited you. You do not have a warrant. What a nightmare! Oh my god, bro! What it? What goes through y'all mind when y'all stick dick in something like this, bro? Matter of fact, I ain't even gonna ask that question because I understand nothing's going through your mind. You just want to stick dick in something because, like, I've had those moments. But this right here, though, she's not even good looking, and you dealing with this. She talks too fast. She talks too much. The hands. I don't know, man. Listen, bro. Fuck that, bro. Then bring your supervisor, but I want him that gone. You don't want to talk to me? That's great. I'm not talking and to anybody. that's fine. Okay? I'm done for the night. He can leave. You can tell me that you're not giving me STDs because you're not without a rubber like you promised. You can, I don't know, give me the 120 plus dollars that you owe me. Please leave. Didn't you guys call the police? I did. Oh, you did. Out of my home! Okay. No, I will get the supervisor now. Don't I did not me. invite you in. Don't come Officer, near me. then don't come don't in my come home. Near me. Now, okay. Okay, I'll call 911 again. Do we need okay. to do this? Go, go ahead. Great. But you don't have a right to be in my home without a warrant. Get out, please. You are not invited in by the She's homeowner. She's kind of right. Goodbye. That's great. Please but step outside my door. It's technically now, a, uh, a crime scene, though, right? She's right about, you know, you got to invite them in, but it's technically a crime scene, I think. I don't know. We'll see. passing without a warrant. Exit my doorstep. No, get out of my house. How are you going to threaten me in my house? He is not, I did not invite him in. He is not going to walk in my house. This is, this he, no, he doesn't have a warrant. He needs to get, he's threatening me and I'm, no. It's a domestic issue. I, just, I did not open right. that door to him. Okay. He did. No, get out of my house now. He every woman, every woman I've seen get arrested. I've probably watched now between my other channel and this one. Well, this is my new channel, but... I probably watch maybe t maybe twenty women getting arrested. They all do the same exact thing. I did nothing. I don't deserve this. You don't have the right to touch me. I'm pregnant, and then yell at the top of their lungs. Every one, every one of them. Out of my house now. You have no right to enter a dwelling at all without permission. Oh okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep it up. I'm gonna keep going. Now you're getting arrested. Ma'am, please do not come Do in. not come into my house and tell me what I can and can't do. You are not invited in. I did not give you permission to be here. Now you are trespassing and threatening me. Hmm, yeah. It's always the same story. They always think that the police have no rights at all. When the police are called in cases involving potential domestic disputes, they have the authority to investigate. If the boyfriend, presumably a resident of the house, called the police and allowed them in, the police are not trespassing. So the girl is just angry and talking nonsense. Also, you'll find out that the boyfriend called the police because the girl took his bike. So there's definitely reason here for an investigation. She's like assaulting me before. Um, oh, I can tell. I you don't even got to tell me. No, I don't want to. Uh, be physical, you don't come into my house. And, um, 
Is she your girlfriend? She is like an ex. She just like started going off on me and just would block the door and just, no, no, you can't do this, blah, 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 blah. And she took my bike and, uh, Did it get physical at any point? No. Okay. What, what is it that you need? Do you just, I just, just trying to leave? I was just trying to leave and she was threatening me. Look, yeah, look, look, look. That's how you yes. know what type of bottom of the barrel bitch you're dealing with. Like, she's fucking a dude with no car. If you're fucking a dude with no car, you're you're bottom of the barrel. I'm sorry. Okay. You're inside my house. Sir, I... I'm not resisting. Stop. You're you are resisting. No, right now I am because you're hurting me. Go. Sir. Every time. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. Stop. I will let you handcuff me. Stop. Put your hands back. I've done this Put before. Your hands I will. Your back. Please stop. Put your hands back. Stop. Don't I touch me. I let will. me go. You don't have a right to touch me. Excessive force. Can I not deal with him anymore? Please let him. No, he has been nothing. Please get me out of these cuffs. I will. Stop I will cooperate. Please get me out of these cuffs now. You're not. Please, I didn't. He walked into my home without my permission. I did not open my door to him. He does not have a warrant. Please stop. Well, Valerie, again, that's because he doesn't need one. It's an arrest for resisting obstruction. Can you please? I'm not going anywhere. Please okay. stop. And we'll get my I have book. babies. Please stop. You are very. Can you please take these off? Put them in the front. Please, I'm not going to run. I have a baby. Please take these look, off. Look, look, look. Every off. time. I can't. My son is inside. Let me sit down. Every please. time. Don't touch me. Let me go. Take these off of me. I have a two-year-old. I'm pregnant. You live here? Are our kids going to be okay? You live here? I, I live downstairs. Okay, downstairs. We'll, we'll talk to you in a minute. Can you hang out downstairs for me? I'm trying to calm down. Can I please have these off? Once again, when the cops tell you, right hang tight for me, or we'll talk to you in a minute, that's like the cop's way of saying, fuck off. Hang tight for me. Fuck off. We'll talk to you in a minute. Fuck off. Can you stand back? Fuck off. That's pretty much what that means. Please, sir. I have been okay. sexually abused by a cop my entire life. Okay. Can you well, please I, get that, this that off? I have been sexually abused that's by a cop. Trigger, that's why I'm saying I can calm down. Just even unhook one. Just okay? calm can down. Please just unhook one. I don't think you understand. Just calm down. Can you do sir, can we help you with something? Me. Yes. Uh, I'm uh, her downstairs neighbor. I'm wanting to know her. I know uh, her kids. Sir, yeah, I'm gonna check on her. You sound drunk as shit. Somebody that can be talked to like a human being. So, if no, please let me finish. Please let me finish. Her home seems a little. Your kids. How many children does she have? Three. And two she has three kids. I only see one. I'm, I'm honest, no, I can't. I can't read. Just put yeah, it back on this one. Two girls no, and one boy. Have she has three children? Yeah. Yes. I just said the other two she are with somebody for the night. Okay, good. Can I just sit okay. right here? Get it, get it. Oh, that you're. No, seriously, you're cutting off circulation. You're cutting off circulation. Hey. Listen to me, okay? I hear, no, that's perfect. If you Thank calm you. down for me, these if are gonna come off. Do you understand that? But when it's a domestic-related issue, you do not okay? have a right to search my things. Okay. He, he needs to stop. We, no, I but uh, I understand. Okay. Hold on, real quick. But I. You want I, them to help you, but then you want to be a nightmare at the same time. I'm answer your question. Yeah, I'll probably forget the question. Just listen to me, okay? He, can he stop searching my things? Mm -hmm. I have every right for him to stop. He needs. By to the stop. way, these are unisex. Make sure to get you one. Okay. We are. Telling you, they fix your posture. Look at this. Take you dig all the time, all day. I'm all, all, all right. Tell me. I'm sorry, were you up here earlier? No, huh? okay. Is there anything else that we can help you with? Oh, I, I, I need to know if the, that she's going to be here for them and stuff, or anybody's going to be here for them. Yeah, she's going to be here for them. She's she's not going to jail. All she's going to get is a ticket, okay? Okay, okay, so thank you. So what's That's another on? way of telling you to fuck off. Thank you. The story They're letting her smoke. I'm like. 42 years old and got pregnant. Okay. And moved him out of his trailer. Wait, 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 wait. Who got who pregnant? So what's going on with the bike and everything? Can you just give me a rundown of what the story is, why we're here? A man's 42 years old and got I'm pregnant. And got okay. me fucking pregnant. And moved him out of his trailer. He was cheating on me, still helped him, he lived with me. How long have you, have you guys been back? We were, yeah, pretty much for over a year. A year, okay. And, uh... Um, oh, that happened in a year? He owes me money, and I literally asked him, if you're going to be the people, can you please wear condoms? Mm -hmm. He refused to answer. I said, that's kind of fucked. Mm -hmm. That is my body, too. Sure. I have every right to know. Yeah. He's like, I, I'm not dealing with this. And tries to leave, and I'm like, D you need to at least give me that. That's okay. it. Oh, you're threatening me. You're trying to keep me here. I was like, because I want to really so answer... Was this, was this today that this the, argument yeah, happened? Okay. Just now. So what... what 
did he have the bike here and you kicked him out or what, what exactly? I told happened? him, I was like, I can, I'll keep the bike until you pay me my $120 plus that you said you paid me did, for this, months now. Did he leave on his own or did you make him leave or what, what happened? He, the cops knocked and he was like, answer the door. I was like, I'm not answering the door. He You're answered right the door. Oh, I said, go. Got you. Then the cops stepped in my house and threatened me. I would like to know, officer, real quick, um, what you are reporting accusational wise to CPS, please. Uh, reference to a domestic disturbance then. And so what does that conclude with CPS, I guess? Does that open a whole case? It's just for their information. So that that CPS is coming, bitch. Okay, just know that. No, I appreciate I just need to know. Yeah. I wish you would have done this the first time. Sir, you threatened me in my home. That's how I felt. You may not have perceived it that way. Please, maybe next time just take down the cop back attitude because it would have gone a lot differently. I don't. I would have worked. I was not. You are a nightmare, lady. You really are a nightmare. So it can. I'm a very. This lady is a hundred percent. I don't like if you. Okay, yeah. All right. If you're carless and forty-two years old, okay, yeah. Then fuck with something like this. But like, bro, there's no drought that would make me fuck with a muffin-built bitch like this, bro. No drought in a world. Reasonable person. Yeah. I'm autistic, so my brain is just works well, a little bit differently. Well, the next time the police officers arrive, in reference to any kind of investigation. Uh, especially when trying to make sure th that everybody's okay, you need to cooperate. That's it. I was, I felt threatened. I have this man who's knocked me up and lied and abused me and my children, and I just want to pay. Now, in regards to the children, I see that your house is a mess. You know what's funny? Is I literally just asked that man if I could pay him to help me because of my lupus and my... We don't know if Valerie... Everything is an excuse with her. Valerie learned her lesson, I'm autistic, but we lupus, do know that she SA. got charged with battery against a household member and resisting arrest. That is crazy, man. Everything with her was a straight up like, oh, I have lupus, I have this, I have that, I have the third. Ooh, ooh. Zero accountability. Zero accountability. It's always a bunch of shields. I use my kids as a shield. I use the sickness as a shield. I use this other thing as a shield. It's just you, it's just you in the mirror. You know you're a headache. You know you're not, you're fucked up up there. You probably need the hella therapy and shit. Hey man, I appreciate everybody who stayed tuned in. Appreciate everybody who came to the new channel to show love. All the new faces that's gonna come show love. I am him, so this channel's gonna blow too because I'm just like that. Make sure if you got a bad posture, stop by the store. Link in the bio, link in the description. Get you a comfy posture corrector. I'm telling you, they easy to work with. Boom, boom. It's Velcro. You can wear on top of your clothes, like how I was wearing it. This whole thing, or you can wear underneath your clothes if you're, you know, going somewhere or whatever. It keep your shoulders back and keep your head high. You feel me? That's all I got to say, y'all. Love. To say a few things. Make sure to go sub up to my other channels, Prinso Reacts. Make sure to sub up to more Prinso. More Prinso is gonna be my day to day channel, so y'all gonna get to see a little more day to day, you know, a little more behind the scenes, a little more what I'm doing with this, how I'm doing that, blah blah blah. If you got any questions about, hey, how do I do this with YouTube, that with YouTube, that's gonna be the more Prinso channel. So make sure to go sub.